Hi, this is Bill Varenkamp. I'm with Imaging Spectrum. I'm head of tech support, and I'm uh, here to talk to you about the Symphonia CS2. I have an earlier video about this printer, but just wanted to talk about a few of the new updates on it and some of the new things about it. Um, first of all, the CS2 is the smallest dice sub printer currently that does 4x6, 5x7, and 6x8 sizes, about 22 pounds, and it obviously will fit nicely into a kiosk. It's easy to transport. It's only about 22 pounds, so not too bad there. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it does do 4x6, 5x7, and 6x8. And of course, with that 4x6, it can cut two 2x6 strips. So if you're doing a photo boost, obviously, that's a, that's a big plus for it. A um, couple of things about the, uh, the printer. If you are going to be doing 5x7, just to let you know, the printer does not come with the 5x7 spacers. You need to do 5x7. So if you are going to order 5x7, make sure you do ask for the spacers. Um, and they're uh, $25 a piece, so it's $50 for the pair to get the spacers. And they're only needed if you're doing five by seven, by the way, okay? So the rest of the part of this is you have the two different uh, spools here, and these what hold the paper. And I do have uh, one paper already loaded on here, and it's pretty simple to load, because it only goes on one way. There's a little notch here on the blue that matches the, the paper. So again, it only goes on one way. So that's, uh, that's nice. The ribbon. Here's one of the ribbons, and again, this one's a uh, partially used one, but just wanted to show you what it looks like and everything. And just to let you know, this side of the ribbon holds an RFID chip, and um, this is where it keeps up with how many photos are, are left on the ribbon. So as you print it, minus one, minus one, minus one. I see all of them come two of them in a box. Um, this is the four by six, and just to let you know, this printer is also known as the 6145. So if you ever see 6145, that is what they're referring to, this, the CS2 printer. Um, the paper does come in a box like this, and there's two of them in, in the uh, box usually. A little latch down here that you just lift up to open up the, the printer. Another latch on the top here to open up the top, okay? And again, it's very easy to load because it is specifically on like uh, the blue side here, the gray side over here. So again, it's real easy to know which side goes in first. And you do want to make sure the paper goes above the little, uh, little wheels down here. When you push it forward, the paper, you will get this paper set light that comes on, letting you know the paper's far enough in. When you get that light, stop pushing the paper. You don't want to push it too far. And then when you put the uh, top down, then you can also put the catch tray back on, put the shard tray back on. Now it's time for the ribbon. And again, the ribbon only goes in one way. There is a, um, there's a little sticker on the bottom here that shows where the pink side goes in. And that's, we're gonna put that in first. It is spring loaded, so just push it in and then put it on the other side. And then top one the same way, it's spring loaded. Can't miss putting it in, so it's real simple. Okay, and then once you get it loaded, and you close the front door. So anyway, it's gonna spit out the alignment sheets. And the, the alignment sheets are all, all dice sub printers spit out alignment sheets for two reasons. First of all, it gets rid of the fingerprints that's on the paper. It also gets the paper aligned inside the printer. And there's always about 20 or 30 extra sheets of paper on a roll of paper. And the reason being is every time you transport your printer, you need to take the paper and rip it out. So when you load it again, it'll always do these alignment sheets. So just to let you know why it always does that. And that's important for the protection of your printer. Okay, so there we go. So did out, it spit out the alignment sheets. Only the green power light is on and uh, the printer's all ready to go. And it does do that uh, alignment sheets with the four by six, five by seven, and six by eight paper. Um, talked about doing two two by sixes. And one of the new things about this printer that I do wanna announce is that darkroom booth, darkroom core, darkroom pro software, all now have this CS2 driver built into the, print, uh, into the software. So you no longer have to use the Windows driver and then point to it in darkroom. And as far as drivers, this does have Windows XP 7, 8, 8, 1, and 10 drivers. So it does work with all of, all of those operating systems. Um, according to the Symfonia website, the Mac driver works from 10.5 on. Now, 
you know, I don't know if that's actually true or not, uh, but that's what they say on their website. Um, I do not know if it works with Big Sur as of right now, um, but again, the website says it does. I have 1014 on mine, I know it works with that, so. Touch, touching base on the Sinfonia CS2 here. If you have any questions or anything, please feel free to give us a call or you can send us an email. Thank you very much.